I'm gonna bounce tennis ball from five different height point two meter point four meter point six meter point eight meter and one meter I also created a simulation today we're gonna compete with a computer simulation and if we see that we get our slope is closer to the computer simulation slope then of course we feel good about it today I have a lab assistant of course Hello. he's a AP student AP physics student at Malwan High School and thank you for helping me out with the with the with the physics 11 bouncing tennis ball lab so here are, is our plan so this is for hands-on this is for simulation and this is our y Rocket. and what is our x uh, the height that it bounces. so what would be the unit for the slope Me, uh, well it would be meters over meters okay there so there is no unit for the slope all right, so today we're gonna take you to the lab room to do the measurement. Wow, that so scared me. When things fall, what do you notice? It's a physics thing. In the meantime, we're going to drop a tennis ball from varying heights, 0.2 meters, so 0.4 meters, 0.6 meters, etc. So uh, the lab assistant will drop it and I'm gonna videotape in slow motion. How does sound? Yep, pretty good. Action. Three, two, one. That's about uh 15 centimeters so, and we've got 0 0.15 there for you this go. three two one go it's about 28 centimeters 28 centimeters 0.28 go on which that seems to be about 0.38 if you ask me 0.38 it is Nice, right? Three, two, one, go! Three, three. Yeah. Right there. Wow, it's exactly 50 centimeters. Oh my god, that's nice. Yeah. Oh well, come here. 15 versus 50. Wow. Now it's it looks time. nice, right? Action. Three, two, one, go! Okay, I think I found it. 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's pretty wow. consistent. Oh. 0.8 and 1. So this would be exactly 0.15. Okay, 0.15 gives us 0.2, so this is good. Okay, so we have it right over there. All right, 0.28 is close to 0.3. Let me just say it's right over here. And that gives us 0.4. Excellent. 0.38 is close to 0.4. Okay. That gives us point. Now, if you take any point from over here and find the slope, that will make mm. it wrong. Yeah. So you have to Dream. find two points from base speed line. Go find two points from base speed line. Is this a good point? You think this one? So All right. One. So okay. we have so point number one. Write it. So let's call, say that. 0.25 comma 0.4. Is this That's good? point seven. No, no. Write it on that. Okay. 27. So let's see. And we also have 0.45. Okay. Now, n is equal to y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. And this is your x1. This is your, this is your y1. This is your... Y2. So this right. is like a ratio. I see. 0 0.7 minus 0 0.38 over 0 0.45 minus 0 0.25 equal to, my friends, 1.6. Give me hey. 0.2. Okay. Or 0.14? Yeah. 0.4. Drop. 0 0.24. 0 0.24. 0 0.6. Do you think it's going to be 0 0.34? I don't think so. Yeah, sure. 0.34. Wow, this is becoming awfully predictable. 0.8. Okay, let me see. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Uh, 0 0.44. 0.44 and 1. And 1. Drop 0.54? No, 0.53. Now, draw, show base speed line. And what is the slope? Slope is two. Mm. So the computer wow. computer slope is two and our slope is one point six. Again, no, 
Again, if you round it to next whole number, what is this? Two, obviously. Two. What, what went wrong? We our were so points, careful with measuring things. Our points could have been inaccurate over here, or maybe we didn't draw the best, best fit line.